Did you know you could get arrested for eating SpaghettiOs? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You might be surprised to know that in all the years that we've known each other and all the stupid things that we've done on this show and off, I'm proud to say we have never been arrested. Nope, I guess we've just uh, had a very long lucky streak. Yes. Right? But listen, if you are interested in getting arrested, take notes because today we are going to uh, chronicle some of the weirdest arrests ever. It's time for... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you on Good Mythical Morning. That's this show. It is the show. And last month in Portland, Maine, a tree was arrested for obstructing traffic. This is the most exciting thing to ever happened in Portland, Maine. Well, I've never been there, but... Uh, a lot, I can imagine that not a lot of exciting things happened But there. the tree. Not a tree, exactly. It was actually a man dressed as a tree. His, it was 30-year-old Asher Woodworth, which right off the bat, this is a man who understands the worth of wood. So he's on my team. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens if you burn a tree? It turns into ash. Or... Yep, that's true. That's another thing. There's, there's a lot of wood jokes that we can make, but we should probably just move nope. right along. We should. Eddie literally said, oh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I took his like breath you had away. stabbed yourself. Thanks for the support, he said, Edward. Okay, so he, he said he planted himself <laughs> in the middle of the <laughs> intersection. There you go. What's, because, where's the off for that? Because he wanted to see how he could impact people's, pers people's natural choreography. It turns out people adjusted their natural choreography by just driving around him and then calling the police. And his natural choreography was impacted when the police showed up and made him put on the handcuffs and we got the video. Look at this. Here he is being escorted away from oh the intersection. Oh my gosh. He is just an absolute tree. I love how he's just continuing to just do the tree thing. Like, look how slow he's going. <laughs> I'm a tree. I can't move too quickly. Uh, and the, the cops, it's like they're, it's like they're helping a disoriented person. I, I'm thinking about bringing back Tree Man and doing this in an LA intersection, but something tells me that the LAPD will not take nearly as kindly to me as they did, as the main police did to this guy. Neither will the, uh, drivers of vehicles right. here in Los they Angeles. They will run you over. So do not do that. Uh, Speaking of trees, back in 2005, 43-year-old Dieter Braun from Recklinghausen, Germany, mm -hmm. was arrested for being a public nuisance. So, okay, well, it's, it's not too weird, right? Unless the public nuisance is running around naked, shouting at trees. Oh, it happens sometimes. Why, Dieter? Why, Dieter? Uh, his, do, you have, do you have a why? Here's the why. His marriage counselor advised him to do it as relaxation therapy. He the said, naked part of the yelling part? All of it. Hmm. Said, if I didn't go to the woods and scream at the trees, then my marriage would probably be over. Oh. Which is weird because if I did get naked and go into the trees and scream, my marriage would <laughs> yeah, be right. over. Yeah, right. That's I how think. it works here. Uh, he says, feeling the breeze on my naked skin really calms me down. Well, you can do that just in your backyard. It did not have a calming effect on anyone else. Uh, especially the trees. Yeah, I could imagine I think, my my kindred Don't disturb the trees there. with your naked Dieter, yelling. don't go up to those redwoods, that, the redwoods that we're planting in Northern California. I don't want to see your naked tail around my redwoods. <laughs> Back in 2014, 23 year old Ashley Huff of Georgia was arrested for SpaghettiOs. Let me explain. Please explain. She was a passenger in a car that got pulled over. One thing leads to another. The police find a spoon in Ashley's bag that's covered with a mysterious residue. She says, it's SpaghettiOs. And then they were like, that seems like the worst lie ever. Of course, some adult woman saying that it's a SpaghettiO, so they immediately arrest her for possession of methamphetamines. Uh, okay. And then there are lab results that test the spoon. She, now, first of all, she goes to jail. While she's in jail, they do, a, they do a test in the lab, and they determine that there were methamphetamines on the spoon even though it actually was just SpaghettiOs. But I think what happened was the person in the lab was like, oh, hold on, and a, who, what kind of adult eats SpaghettiOs and then throws their spoon into the bag? A meth head. This has got to be somebody who's on meth. I think that's probably what happened. But, they, but there was meth. There wasn't meth. That the lab came back with positive results. Turns out these, these lab results can be false positives all the time. And okay. It, and it, she was later cleared. After spending over a month in jail, she was cleared and it was just SpaghettiOs. And now since this, the number one defense in Georgia criminal trials has become, it was just SpaghettiOs. It was just SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Everybody's using it. Everybody's getting off. Uh, are they? Yeah. 
Because of SpaghettiOs. Um, uh, speaking of SpaghettiOs, there's only one reason you should never visit a cemetery. And I meant to say ever visit a cemetery, but I said never. Just ignore that. Uh, that I knew what you meant. Uh, I'll just start over. Speaking of SpaghettiOs, there's really only one reason you should ever visit a cemetery. It has nothing to do <laughs> that, that with was, SpaghettiOs. That was one of those, I'm yeah. trying to make a transition, but right. it doesn't work. But right. some people will be like, I guess that makes sense. It was because of the SpaghettiOs. Yeah, right. Uh, that reason shouldn't get you arrested. Uh... 24-year-old Anthony Stollard of Portsmouth in the UK was arrested at the Kingston Cemetery where we he was impersonating a ghost. <laughs> Literally throwing up his arms and yelling, Ooh, <laughs> at mourners. <laughs> well, was, well, people were there at a funeral. He was wooing people in the cemetery. Did he even look like the dead person? Did he know who it was that was dead? No. that would be freaky. No, and I'm sure he Uncle was, Johnny is over there. No. I'm sure no. he was doing it very tastefully too. Okay. It was he, he did a tasteful, a tasteful wooing okay. uh, at the cemetery. Uh, prior to that, Anthony was seen kicking a football at graves. This dude's 24 years old, while singing loudly with his friends. Okay, nothing wrong with that. As I mean, you may have guessed, Anthony had been doing a bit of drinking before the debacle. I'm guessing ecto cooler. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. You get it? it has been known to induce those kinds of effects. I ain't afraid of no pasty white dude kicking a soccer ball. Against graves. That's not <laughs> okay. You know, so I ain't afraid of no pasty white dude. I get it. Kicking yeah. a soccer ball. Because like, you're like Ray Parker Jr., my favorite artist. Mm -hmm -hmm. But the lawyer downplayed it. He said he has accepted that his behavior, if it had been outside of a cemetery, would not have been inappropriate. Mm -hmm. But inside a cemetery, while people are grieving for their loved ones, it might be. It might. It might be. It, it just might be. Might be. If you if you push it too far, it might be. Eighty nine year old Edna Jester of Blue Ash, Ohio, just wanted some peace and quiet, but she could never get it because the kids in her neighborhood were always playing football right outside of her house. Oh. And every so often, a football would land in Edna's yard, and she'd have to fetch it for him. And Edna hated this. She was quoted as saying, "I'm eighty nine years old, and I want a little peace of mind. This is my life here in this chair, looking out that door, and all I see is playing the ball down all over and all over. If it doesn't come in my yard, okay, but if it comes in my yard, I'm going to get it. No trespassing." Playing the ball down. There was a few run-on sentences in that, but we understand you don't like the ball in your yard. So one it's day in 2008, when the ball landed in the yard, Edna makes good on her threat. She snatches the ball up, she brings it inside, and then the owner of the football tells his parents, and then the parents call the freaking police. They don't even go to talk to Edna. This well, is she's an scary. old lady. But Have you seen the Sandlot? She doesn't. There's probably a dog. And you know what? She doesn't respond well to negotiations because the police actually issued two warnings to Edna, but she refused to turn the ball over. Mm. It did not help, though, that the cops issued the warnings via football over the fence. <laughs> that, it, it, that, was, that was in poor taste. Mm, that, that's she not said, speaking her language. I'm not giving the ball up, no. That's the only protection I have. They know if it comes in my yard, I'll get it, and that keeps me, it keeps them off of me a little. This, this is a tough woman. This woman's got grit. Does she, does she, she now has all the policemen's balls? She has all the policemen's balls. That's what, <laughs> that's what Edna's known for now. Nope, yeah. that's not true. She didn't give them She back. did not give the ball back to the boy. The policemen didn't throw their balls over the fence that because was I made that up. Uh, but they did arrest her and, and she went to prison and she died there. Also a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and a funny one. Uh, Boy, old women dying in prison. <laughs> the charges were dropped. That. The charges were dropped against Edna, but she promptly sued the teenager's parents for emotional distress. You know what? You should have tried. You should have tried. Uh, I ain't afraid of no yeah. pasty white lady with my football. I should have done that. I'll do that next time, but uh, I don't have another one. Speaking of weird hostage situation, in Leavenworth, Kansas, 2013, 26-year-old Brian P. Smith, good old Brian P. Yeah, I know him. Agreed to babysit his friend's pet spider, which really is the true t test of a friendship. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're willing to keep their spider, problem was yeah. when his friend came back to get the spider, Brian invoked the legal precedent of no backsies. He kept the spider. He did not want to give the spider back. And it, listen, it escalated from there uh, he said, if you want your spider back, you gotta pay me $100. He held the spider for <laughs> ransom. Well, this is not cool, Brian $100, P. I mean, you, you, not you, cool, man. $60 will get you a good spider. 
the friend refused to, pl- to pay. Uh, Brian then threatened to kill his spider by shooting it. <laughs> I'm going to shoot your spider, I'm gonna shoot. man. There's, I mean, that's what it's going to take to kill this not spider. Not step on it. A bullet. Shoot it. So, so his friend calls the cops. The cops go to the friend's house, but Brian calls him while the cops are there, and he says... Are you ready to do this thing? <laughs> Which okay, it's good enough for the cops to just arrest him uh, uh, at that moment. What thing was he gonna do? Uh, shoot shoot the, spider? the spider, I guess. <laughs> okay. Or make the trade for the hundred dollars? I don't know. Uh, he he was ordered to serve fourteen months. Plot twist: the spider was in on it the whole time. Hmm. The spider didn't like Brian P either, huh? <laughs> I don't know what the spider got out of this situation, but he was definitely in on it. Hopefully you time. can avoid getting arrested now that you have learned uh, how some people got arrested in stupid ways. That's what we're doing. We're doing our part. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Nathaniel. We're 10,000 feet on Haleakala, and it's time to spin the Wheel Mythicality. If you get arrested, it's cold in jail. You should wear a good mythical hoodie. <laughs> Brentling.com slash store. What's with the strategic advertising in jail? <laughs> yes, it's like you to go with the Gamar, uh, where crew members are going to share their run-ins with the law. Ooh. Shout out to Laughing Gas. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Laughing Gas. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. You so much joy. <laughs> you were so silent but deadly like a fart. But you're not deadly. You, you can do anything. You can do anything to me right now and I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Pull your ear. No, don't do that. Sorry. Hey.